Hi, Edgar again. Uh, this is just a quick video on um, how to remove white borders from um, from bitmap, uh, GIFs, bitmaps that you might bring into Zara. And obviously, on a on a white background, if you just drag in the white background up there, you can see that looks fine. But if you want to display it against any other background, it starts to look pretty crappy. Um, so people often ask how how do you remove the white background? Um, there's several ways of doing it. Um, first of all, uh, one of the easy ways is to select it, go down to the transparency tool, and apply stained glass transparency. That actually removes. You can now see that's removed that. Unfortunately, it's also reduced the the, the coloration in the thing, and it's not a method that. I, works that well too often um, so let's just undo that uh, another way of doing it is um, with a plug-in if you go down into the plug-in and these are this MIDI eraser classic is actually incorporated it, it comes um, preloaded in Zara um, extreme and you can see that this is already on uh, it's erasing the white um, and if we zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, you can see it's done a fair job of getting rid of the, the white edges. Um, the problem is, where well, you've got white actually in the thing as well, in the elements you want, as in up here, and even more so down in the scroll work here, you can see that uh, you're getting transparency coming through there. Um, if you click OK, you can see that um, this got transparency it's, got, it's removing the white here and it's also got this white edging fringing around it as well as this white edge here which would be easy enough to remove but this white edging and this um, transparency coming through here where the white has been removed uh, is not the uh, best way either um, the, the method I much prefer is to actually uh, use um, the shape of it at all um, very quickly you can just go around clicking with the shape of it at all and holding down the control key moving across clicking down round to about that corner there and click um, I'll turn that into a curve and that into a curve and I'll drag select over those two nodes and I'll hit this smooth point here I don't know why that one didn't go let's yeah, make that one smooth again you can then shift select so you, you've got the bitmap and the um, and the shield you've just created arrange combine shapes intersect shapes and now you've got that shield Okay, it's still not 100%, but what you can actually do in Zara is it's still fully identical. So just holding down the, I've drag selected these two nodes here. I'm holding down the um, Alt key, and with the arrow keys, I'm just cutting that down a bit. I'm going to do the same on this side. Shift select those two. Alt key, arrow key, just going right. Move that one down. Similarly on this one. Alt key, move those down. Um, I think I'll move. I'll move each one of these up independently. And you can move the actual cutting angle there. Move this node up a bit. Move this node up a bit. And I can just if I want just put a bit of feathering on it oops sorry for that that bit of feathering it's probably taken about too much off the top there I'll just go and alt up key a bit like that alt a bit of it uh, so we keep the black part of the shield now you've got the shield it's quite good um, one of the other things, uh, I'll have to go now because the thing's finishing, I haven't got time to show you this one. Cheerio!